Hello everyone and welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator tutorial. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can enable and how to use the replay function within the game. This does exist within the game, however it is not available by default and it is something you need to enable every time you relaunch the game. Which is a bit annoying, but it is the way that it is. So basically what you need to do is you need to go into options and then general options and head over all the way down to the very bottom experimental under experimental you will see replay tool all you have to do is click on and then f11 to apply and save or you can just click on it one thing to note is that you need to do this every time you relaunch the game because for some reason this turns off every time you um every time you close the game and then relaunch it again in the future. I, maybe it's just for me, it could be for other people, maybe some people have this issue, some don't, but if it's not there, just check, most likely it's been turned off if you've closed the game. Okay, cool, so now I'm going to be showing you how to use this tool. So what we are going to do is, we are going to basically just demonstrate this with a landing. So I'm just gonna put the time to, time to daylight. We're going to select an aircraft, we'll put an Aer Lingus library because, well, we'll head into Dublin, you know the same old usual uh, here we go actually let's use the um, what is that sorry let's use the real life uh, let's use, use the Neo Aer Lingus library because this is the Airbus A320 Neo uh, I'm gonna set this as arrival and we're gonna land in here perfect basically uh, what we are going to be doing is I'm gonna show you how the replay function replay tool works essentially with a demonstration of a landing because there's a few things to note about this, especially if you want to track the camera or not. Okay, cool. Right, so here we are, ready to fly. So what you will notice is here, now in your toolbar, you have this function here. In order to start the replay, what you need to do is you need to start recording. So this is a sequence recording. So first of all, you need to, whenever you want to re replay, you need to start with the sequence recording. So now we're going to close that off. Don't worry, it is still recording as you can see here. We're going to, so that's the other pilot. We're going to go back to this view and we are going to basically land this aircraft um, quickly. And then the, I'll show you with the replay how you can change the camera views. So let's kind of uh, fast forward this. We have our flaps set to full, land the gear down. Realistically, all we have to do is kind of just let the aircraft fly itself. While this is happening, I'm just going to change, uh, set the uh, other view here. Just this will be a demonstration Repair. for the replay tool. So there we go. Okay, cool. I think we have aligned it the wrong way, or so I hope. Okay, cool. Let's check our landing speed. So I know this may seem slightly irrelevant to the tutorial, but in order to show you um, this, I need to kind of demonstrate it with a recording. Because what you might notice is that the sequence recording, so what we're recording at the moment, the sequence recording only records uh, what you see on screen. So it doesn't actually allow you to change the camera. It's basically as if you're using OBS or something like that to record. Now I feel like this is a bit too low so you see i think this has aligned us with the north one way which for some reason is not in but listen that's completely not relevant to this as you can see here our airspeed is dropping the lower landing speed so we're in stall territory bring it back to 140. Uh, i think our stall speed was 115 if i was not mistaken 104. this down now because now I think we're a bit too high. Uh, if you take a look there at the markings, yeah, but that's telling us we are um, too high. Basically, I'll show you now what the replay function. The great thing about this replay function is that it's still working in the background, so as you can check here, you can see here it's still uh, in the background. You can, okay, perfect. Let's just focus on this landing quickly. But be, feel free to kind of fast forward this to uh, the landing and then you'll see exactly why we are doing this. We're exactly 235 knots, which is the speed we want to be for landing. Not quite sure we are at, at the altitude that we want to be. 
but sure, that is fine. That's what the replay is there for, to tell us how bad this is, or maybe how good it is. Also, this is the first time I'm landing with that view, because usually I land, uh, usually I land with, um, the more zoomed out view. But I've seen in the game, I've seen other videos people land like this, because you can actually see the one I will see here. You can't see the one way at all, 600 feet. Not quite sure is what we're, yes, we're too low as you can see because we have four red 400. signals, uh, four red dots, and have two white, two red. For each of the shows in a slightly lower altitude for this approach, but I think this is. It now feels like we're too high. Oh my, that's not what I want to get me back to my seat. There we go. Okay, now you, now we're too high as you can see. Three hundred. Watch the airspeed. We don't want to stall. Two hundred. Now at the right altitude, but we're at the wrong altitude. One hundred. Okay, cool, perfect. Sixty, fifty, forty. 30, 20, retard. Right, perfect. So now what we are going to do is we're going to demonstrate how Double the tower Rainer, works. 21 Charlie Whiskey, ready for departure runway 28 left IFR to Meridnac. Ryanair 21 Charlie Whiskey, hold short runway 28 left. Perfect. Okay, Traffic so now. Is Airbus now that we have done that, what we need to do is we go back to our replay, we stop this once we're finished. Now, this is the timeline controls. Basically, at the moment, we have a sequence recording, but we're not actually seeing what we recorded. So we need to click this here, camera track. Once we click the camera track, we can close these off, and now we can actually... No, so that's the other part. Now we can change the views, as you can see here. So now we can actually see our um, replay from whatever camera angle we want. So if you go back to the cockpit, we can also see it from this angle. And that's essentially how you do the camera track. So now you click back into this to see the camera track. The great thing about this is you can kind of slow it down. Now we can also fast forward. Now one thing to note is um, if you want, the, while doing the camera track, bearing in mind that this is, you can't fast forward while you have 500. the camera track on because basically this is rec you're recording essentially. Because what this is doing is you've recorded your sequence and now if you want to record this where you're able to move around the camera, you need to record the camera track. So, what we can do is we can stop this, and then now we can go further along the approach. Say we want to see the landing, we can, we can go and say we want to go here. We can click on the camera track again, and now we can see that we're further into the approach. So basically, just bear in mind that once you have camera track enabled, you can't fast forward. And bear in mind that if you fast forward your part and then have the camera track, then you won't be able to, uh, you, you won't actually have the whole um, sequence replay set up so that you can change the camera view. So just bear those things in mind. So as you can see here, now again, we have a camera track, we can take a look at this. So let's just take a quick look at the landing for fun, and then I'll show you how to save this off and then load them in. But as you can see here, the replay tool is very easy to use, it works quite well. I'm not really sure why it's still an experimental, considering that this has been available now for three years, and well, you think at this point it works quite well. On a side note, Dublin is looking very fresh, uh, nicely managed in, but I think we've flown to Dublin so many times in this game that at this point it's probably has as most of these objects loaded in. So as you can see here, we can move around, it's fairly simple. And this is the replay mode. Okay, cool. This is a great little feature to use if you want to record landings or if you just want to see how you did with your landing or if you just want to get multiple views, you know, record certain videos, comparison videos, ETC. Because obviously sometimes it's easier to fly from a certain view than it is to watch a replay. Move this around freely as much as you like, and you can always rewind, stop the camera track. If you don't save the camera track, it won't uh, bear in mind that nothing will be saved. 
So you know, if you just want to play around, see it from multiple angles, you can just keep replaying it. So basically, that just that's another thing that you can uh, essentially do. So now let's see this landing. Um, it's definitely not a bullish landing, and as you can see here, we're way off the centre line. Okay. Yeah, because as you can see here, it felt that earlier on. Perfect, too. Did the reverse just activate? I don't think it did, even though I used the keyboard there, that's just a side note for myself. But as you can see there, that's how you can re-watch your landing. So now we are going to need to go back to the replay. So now we can delete this, or we can just stop. Now if you don't save this, just bear in mind that what we just did won't be viewable again, unless you're recording this like I am myself. But now let's say I want to see this from another angle. We just go back here, click on the timer track again, close this off, and now say I want to see this from this angle. Now we can rewatch it in this angle. So you can keep rewatching this as many times as you want. Just bear in mind, if you don't save any of this, when you close the game or when you exit out from this flight scenario that you're doing, it will no longer be there. So voila. There's that. Cool. Uh, we won't dwell on that, just to take a look there at the landing. So that just kind of demonstrates for you what is possible with this. It's a very cool feature. Okay, cool. So, now what we are going to do is we're going to go back to this, we're going to go back to the replay tool, let me just uh, change the video, and we're going to stop this once again. Now, if you want to save what you just did, you click save as, and when you click save as, you're going to get this document here, you're going to write the name of this, and then you're going to save it, and then if you click, um, you're going to stop this, and then you can also load in scenarios, so if you want to load in stuff you've saved before, you click load, and then you just click on those, and it should work. Uh, bear in mind that these replay files uh, will take up basically a fair amount of uh, space on your computer, so just bear that in mind. But yeah folks, that's essentially the replay tool in a nutshell, and then once you exit out of that, as you can see here, we once again have control of the aircraft, let's return the rudder. Okay, cool. So that's it folks for now, hope you found this tutorial helpful, make sure you give this video a like if you did, if you have any questions let me know down below, bear in mind if you send these questions in a few years later I might have forgotten exactly how these things work. But I hope you found this useful and yes, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more tutorial videos. That is it for now, until next time.